it's a lovely sunny day here at the Hop Pole. So uh, we're going to do what any good studio engineer would do on a sunny day. And that is we're going to go and we're going to go inside and hide in the basement. So there's a band in today called the Chief of Seattle. They've been in several times before. Uh, lovely guys. And they're due in about 15 minutes. So let's see if we can take you through a rough day in the studio. Today's not going to be the most quote-unquote professionally filmed video that I ever make, but maybe it'll give you some sort of insight into uh, how a studio works. First things first, I get out the trusty eye lock, turn on the computer, because without the eye lock, tracking is tricky and mixing is pretty much impossible. So, down there in the dark, I stick that in the rack mount computer, then turn on the rack which has all our <coughs> DAC computer starts to turn on so I'll uh, put our password in you're not going to see the password get that turning on and down here is all our uh, preamps so they need to go on as well turned on that rack there you may not want to turn on the rack you may not have noticed that I didn't turn on the active speakers I'll leave them till last you know the whole thing about desk then racks then amps so I class the DAC stuff as the the desk that's an old mantra so let's get cracking let's log in and make sure we're getting sound and get ready so the studio's not the tidiest it's been I've got 15 minutes now to try and uh, you know empty the bins and uh, put the lights away and sort out the little things but there's camera gear there's random kick drums and things so I'm going to tidy that all up now and hopefully have a nice clean looking live room before the band arrive. There we go. Right, let's go. Let's clean. That's more like it. There's a drum kit in place, bass amp out, guitar amps ready, floor space and just a little more space in here. Right, and the band are due to arrive any minute and the computer is restarting. Why is it restarting? Oh, here begins the day's joy. So, the band are here. This is Sam. He's sat at the kit. We've got the Aston Starlights above and the Aston Origin kick and the biggest snare in the world, the 15-inch uh, <laughs> the Slingland. We've got Aaron over here playing with the Fender Boost, Blues Deluxe. Booze Deluxe. That's later on. <laughs> got Dom using the, uh, the orange four-stroke, which sounds pretty beasty. Uh, Kieran's going straight into our Tube DI and then there's Anne-Marie in the box <laughs> with an SM7 and a, a DI which we're going to record the acoustics possibly at least uh, with quote unquote proper microphones when we've got the uh, the main band performance done so yeah everybody's in everybody's happy yes. or at least as happy as we can be <laughs> <laughs> right let's do it so as you can see everybody's on headphones we've got a headphone amp and everybody's got the main mix going through so everybody can hear Anne-Marie well, she's away in the vocal booth, so we don't get too much vocal spill, so that we can re-record the vocals without them being all over the drum mics. So, whenever you're ready, back to here. Got our arc with the talk back. All right, can everybody hear me? Yep. Good stuff. Right, I'll hit the red button. Ready when you are. And this is what happens. <laughs> okay, so after a few practice runs, take one is in the bag. And I'm using the new spectral color shaping on uh, Reap, which is interesting. The blue is base and kind of the red is mid. I've been kind of mixing as I go. So we'll see what everybody thinks. Oh, hello. Is that Dom turning the amp off again? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. This is the sound with almost no plugins on here. Two reverbs, a few compressors, a few channel strips. Do it again. <laughs> right, then 
and here's how they sound from outside the room. You might just be able to see Anne-Marie through that window back there, that's the vocal booth. So she's got some complete acoustic separation. But everyone can hear it because they've all got a headphone mix. Anyway, while they're doing that, let's do the most important thing, coffee. Man cannot live on bread alone. Freshly ground coffee is a must in a studio, so... Here we go, let's make enough for everybody. This is today's new uh, exciting toy. This is Sonarworks, and this is correcting the speakers, because even though they're A7Xs, which are decent speakers, and the room's fairly well treated with uh, a bit of absorption on the back wall and quite a lot of absorption on this wall, uh, there's still some dips, like 1K. I've always noticed that the A7Xs have got quite a kind of a, a mid dip and there it is plain for all to see so hopefully that tucked away will give us some accuracy record some acoustic guitars but instead of DI we're going to do it properly so what we're going to do is we're going to get Kieran out here on a chair and we're going to use these Aston Starlights and we're going to switch them we've been using on vintage mode on the drums and we're going to switch them to modern mode to really make the guitars kind of zingy in a mix without being horrible from excess amounts of EQ we're also going to put the cut in there I don't think we need any pad on the acoustics. So we'll get that set up. So the starlights are now in place. One's at 12 and 12, 12 inches from the 12th fret. And the other one is pointed squarely at the body just to get a bit of resonance. It will result in a stereo image that goes over to the right. But that's kind of what I want because I want Kieran's guitar to be off to one side and Marie down the middle and Aaron on the other side. Because it's a nice trio without having to do too much panning work. Ta-da! Right, let's go. <laughs> For vocals, and we've switched out the mics. So we've got this uh, this thing that looks like it's been in a dustbin, <laughs> the Aston Origin, and it sounds fantastic. So we'll shut this door and we'll get recordings. Right, so this is what I like about the Aston Origin, is this EQ has nothing on it. The compression, I like compression. Listen to this.
recorded everything now, including piano, brass, all sorts of stuff. We got four full tracks recorded in one day. So I'm going to have to mix it separately and we'll help the guys uh, get packed and loaded so that tonight I'm going to be filming more videos for you lovely folks. So, I yes. uh, wish I could have filmed more today but it's been quite intense. In one day we have tracked four full songs including basic tracks which was a live session of drums including this beauty uh bass at the same time one electric guitar and two acoustics and vocals which was quite a task we then re-recorded all of the acoustic guitars with these two beasts the starlights uh, we then re-recorded the vocals over the scratch takes with the aston origin which has been absolutely instrumental in bringing my ra re recording, tracking, from sounding good to sounding really, really good. I mean, this thing is silly for the money you pay for it. They're crazy. And then we also added some VST, pianos, brass, uh, lots of backing vocals. So all that. And when people say, oh, well, that's a lot of money for a studio. And uh, I'll be straight up with you. At time of filming this, we charge £250 for a day, which sounds like a lot, but when there's five of you, you can split it up five ways. And I'm about to take the tracks home with me now and do a little bit of uh, clean-up editing work, a bit of rudimentary mixing, bring it in tomorrow and uh, finish that off. And that'll be four whole songs done on a very, very small budget at a quality level that I would consider to be you know, release quality. And I'll give the guys you know, a bit of leeway with feedback as well. But at every stage today, we've got every part sounding how the guys wanted it. We've not gone any further with parts until they've been happy. It just so happens that because they've rehearsed the songs well, which is one of the key things in a studio, and I've worked with them before, so I knew how they wanted to sound, so I had a good idea of what equipment I was going to use. It's come together incredibly quickly. And that, to me, is what a professional studio is all about, rather than being a bedroom engineer. I'm prepared, which means that they spend minimal time setting up and most time performing and getting what they need done on their budget. So, it's been a good day. And I know this video hasn't had the most uh, high quality or the most content, which I apologise for, but I'm trying to do a bit of a different style today. Uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming very soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.